picture from the restroom. Um, is there like Hey everyone, we're going to get started in about four minutes. You don't need equipment, uh, just a yoga mat if you have one, please. everyone about two more minutes and then we'll get going. Turning upwards. 
and you're just going to go up and down. Think about your heel being in line with the back of your butt. You don't want that heel coming forward like this when you lift. Keep it back here as you go up and down. So that's the first one. The second one, circles, okay. So we're gonna do circles, so you look, the leg will stay up, and we're gonna do mini clockwise circles, then counter, and the last one are taps, okay? We do not take a break for these. We're gonna go straight through. If you need a break, by all means take one, but they're burning for a reason. So everyone down on your right side, you can lay however you want on the shoe, prop my head up, okay? So left leg, toe straight forward, and we're gonna do 20 reps of everything. Ready, and go. One, two, good. Keep up the good form. Notice how my toe is pointing directly towards you guys, okay? Not up towards the ceiling. Well, not yet until I get tired. Here, six, nice and slow. Eight, there we go, halfway there, 11, 12. I'm already feeling it, I don't know if you guys are, five more, four, three, two, one, keep it up there, go clockwise with our circles, five, Six. Oh, 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 oh yeah, feel it. You should be feeling it all down the side here. And reverse. Good. Do not let that leg kind of creep forward. I know it wants to. Don't let it. Six. Seven. Good. Look how my toe straight forward the entire time, okay, guys? Good job. We have five more. Then we're going to go into the taps. Do not let that leg drop. And tap it. So tap in front, up, back, up. That's two. Here's three, four. You are tapping, you are not resting. Eight, watch my toe, my toe straight forward. Good job. Halfway, almost there, then we're gonna do the other side. The quote of the day should have been feel the burn. <laughs> there we go, good. And you know I lost count, so let's do four more. Here's one, two, three, four, all right. And just when you think you're done, you're not. So lay on that left side where you're gonna go into a left plank real quick, okay? You can plank from your knees or from your feet. I'm gonna go from my feet and we're gonna do it for 20 seconds, all right? So everyone, go ahead on your left side and lift up. There we go. Keep those hips up. Your elbow should be directly underneath your shoulder. Five seconds. I'm shaking. There we go, almost there. And break. Woo, all right. Well, that's one. We got to do the other side. So go ahead and lay on your left side, please. Okay, so we're gonna go through all that with our right leg. So when you guys are ready, you're on the floor, you're laying on your left side, your right leg is up, and we're gonna start with the up and downs, okay? And go. One, 20 reps. Remember, keep that heel behind your butt. Toes pointed straight forward. Seven. Nine, good job, halfway there. You should be starting to feel it if you're doing it correctly. If you don't feel it on the side of your hip and you feel it more in the front, you are not doing it right. So bring your heel back further. It's because your foot is coming forward. Three more, two, 
three. Keep it up. Circles. Toes straight forward. Oh, yeah, the burn is real. Keep it going. Go, go, go. Five more. Three, two, one. Reverse. Seven, eight. Fourteen, fifteen. Oh, yeah. And tap it. Tap and back. My hips are not moving, just my leg. It's four, five, seven. Halfway there, guys. We're almost done with this section. Keep going. Yes, you can. Come on. Four more. Here's one, two, three. Nice and slow. Four and break. All right. Get on that right side. We have a side plank to do. No break in between. Everyone on your right side. Timer's going to get set for 20 seconds. And let's go. Look up. Good, nice and straight. Don't let that top shoulder roll back. Nice straight line. Good job, everyone. We're almost there. And break. All right. Awesome job. Grab some water, guys. So typically in my classes, we normally do a uh, set twice. We're not doing that with that session just because I know you guys are on fire, especially your hips down inside your legs. We're going to go to our next section. You're welcome. Um, it is not a burner per se, but it's going to be a lot of upper body. So I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to have you guys join me on the floor, so keep your mat there. All right, so the first one, you're going to come up with your hands into like a Superman, not your legs, your legs can stay down. So you come up, put your hands down, and then from here you're going to do a knee push-up. When you do the push-up, it's not this, okay? Get your core tight first, and it should be one straight line that you left. So my core is activated from here. I push up, down, lift. You could get your legs in there if you want, and then do your push up again. All right, we're going to do that for 30 seconds. You guys ready? Put your water down, get back on the floor on your stomach, okay? Everyone there? Okay. So I'm going to hit start. So again, it's up, arms down, core tight, lift, down, up, core tight, nice straight line lift, down, up, core tight. Good job, everyone. Okay. Up. Down. Good, and break. Next one, we're going to do a bridge. What we're going to do with a kick out. So that's new. We haven't done a kick out before. So a bridge, if you lift your butt up, right? Our kick outs are going to be this, down, this, down, then your butt down. If that is too hard for you and you cannot kick, that's fine. Just do the bridge and hold the bridge up as we kick out. All right. So everyone on the floor, knees bent. I'm going to set a timer for 30 seconds. 
All right, and up. Try and keep your pelvis level, okay? And kick out and then down. Feet about shoulder width. There we go. Down. Okay, when you kick out, your hips should not drop like this. Keep your hips level. You're gonna get some back pain. Then you're gonna have to come see me. <laughs> All right, up. Good, and break. Yeah, those are pretty hard if you're doing them correctly, so good job. And the last one, I'm gonna throw some tricep dips in there. So just again, for those who have not done them before with me, you're here, and you're just up and down, okay? Time is gonna be for 30, and let's go. Keep those arms in. Good, if you can lift your butt up higher than me, that's even better. I'm just not strong enough for that right now. Good job, let those elbows bend. Good job, everyone. And break. All right, grab some water. We're gonna repeat that circuit, okay? So from the top is the Superman with the push-up. Now when you do the Superman and you lift lift up, I want you to pull your um, shoulder blades down, kind of like you're just doing like a row almost to engage your scapula, the shoulder blades. Then put your hands on, then do the push-up. Okay. So when you're ready, get back on the floor. Let me demonstrate exactly what I mean real quick. So you're up here, pull down. Then put your arms down and push up. Okay? So everyone should be on the floor. On your stomach. Good. I'm going to get a timer going for 30 seconds. And go. So up, throw it down. Straight line lift. Nice and slow down. Up, throw it down. Lift. Good job. Core tight. Keep your knees down, nice and slow, controlled. Good. And break. Yeah, I like those. We should have did those for a minute. All right. Um, double leg bridge with kick out. Everyone on your back with your knees bent. Um, so again, if you can't kick out, no problem. Just hold the bridge for the time that we're kicking. So the timer is going to be set for 30 seconds. And let's go. So lift the butt. Kick out. Down. Feet shoulder width. Keep that pelvis level. That's something I have difficulty doing. Good job, we're almost there. Make sure you're breathing. And break. Cool. All right, so we try to set this. 30 seconds, let's go. One, two, good job. Remember, if you can get your butt up, that's ideal. Almost there. And break. All right. If you get a short break, we're going to get rid of the mat. Everything else is going to be standing.
All right, so this one I'm going to call quad burner. So enjoy your water. I'm just going to demonstrate it. Make sure you have a lot of room in front and behind you. So you're going to start with a forward lunge and we're going to stay on the same side. So we're going to start with our right side. So your right side, excuse me, is going to go forward. You lunge back to center, you squat, come up, and then your right foot goes back into a retro lunge, and then you're together. Okay. So we're going to do, you guessed it, 30 seconds on each side. So when you're ready, make sure everything is clear, you have enough room. We're going to get going, okay? So again, right side's going to go first and it's going to go forward. Three, two, one, and let's go. Down, don't lose your balance. <laughs> Up, shoulder width, squat down. Retro lunge, that balance is pretty bad today. Squat. Up, there we go, good. Together, squat. Up. Good job, everyone. Good. Great. That wasn't too bad. Now we gotta do the other side. We're gonna go right into it. So we're gonna start on the left side. And here we go. So left is forward. Together. Squat. Up. Good. Good job. My balance is really bad today. Do you guys have balance problems like I do? Come see me. I can help you with that. There we go. And break. Whew. All right. So we're going to do what I call ski taps. So let me demonstrate those. So we'll start with our left side. We're going to get into a little squat. When you do these squats, you don't want your knee to go in like that. Puts you at your prone to injury, basically. And we don't want that. You gotta slightly keep your knees straight, straight as you can. So I'm in a little squat. From here, my toe is gonna touch back, my right? Tap forward. That's all it is, okay? But you have to maintain this squat position. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds. Whew. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. So get on your left leg. Find your squat, mini squat, okay? Maintain it as you tap forward and back. There you go. Keep that squat. This quad should be on fire. If it is not, you are not low enough to get lower. Good. There you go, good job. Almost there. Break. Woo! All right, same thing, right side. Okay, so get on your right leg, find your squat. Okay, here's mine. And let's go. Tap it forward. Good. You may notice one leg feels stronger than another, or you made a better balance on one versus the other. It's okay, it happens. We just have to work on the other side that you're lacking. Good. They're taps, you're not placing that foot down and break. Awesome, awesome job. All right, squat, pulse. So these, you're gonna get into a squat depth you're comfortable holding. So it could be here, it could be here, it could be wherever you want. And from here, you're just gonna do many pulses. Not big oscillations, okay, just many ones. So feet, shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider for comfort, and we're gonna do 20 seconds. So everyone get to the depth of squat they want and pulse it. Good, keep that butt back, just like you're sitting on a chair behind you, okay? You don't want your knees to go forward over your toes. Good. Good, almost there. <laughs> and break. All right, cover those quads. 
Yeah, mine are, mine are uh, kind of burning a bit. So the last one we're going to do, we're going to do side lunges. We have done these before, but just to remind you guys, so make sure there's enough room to the sides. You can step, lunge, and then really push off with this leg and come back. We're going to do 30 seconds to the right, and we'll do 30 seconds to the left. Okay. Everyone good? Need water? All right. Let me get the timer going. And we're going to go to the right first. Here we go. So lunge it, push back. Good. Whenever you work out, you want to make sure you work out in the different planes. You don't always want to do forward lunges, squats. You need to do some kind of lateral movement. And that's what I try to incorporate with all of my sessions. So I hope you guys really learned something from all this. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. And starting Monday, you could just stop by the gym. Just stop in your office right across from the locker room. Sarah, Melissa, and I will all be in there. And break. Now we're going to go to the left. And 30, oh, here it is. So 30 seconds. There we go. Lunge and push back. Good. Get that butt back as you do these. The deeper the lunge, the harder it will be. Good. And if you want a cool shirt like mine or Mr. Skeleton, all you gotta do is become a patient. We have a lot, we hand them out. Almost there, guys. And break. Awesome. So grab some water. I made sure to save some time for a decent stretch today. So we're gonna get back on the floor after your water, just grab your yoga mat. We're just gonna stretch for a little. The first stretch is a prayer stretch. So we're gonna get on our knees and then just gonna kind of put your hands forward and shift your weight back. Okay, so go ahead and meet me here when you're done with your water. You can play with the angles. Bring your hands out to the left. Really reach and sit back. Do it to the right. Good. We're going to go into some cat and camel. Okay, so hands directly under your shoulders. Knees directly under your butt. You're going to kind of arch up, let your butt sag down, and then lift up, then look all the way down, kind of pushing the palms of your hands into the floor. Good. There we go. Let's do two more each way. Good, here's our last one. All right, good job. Everyone come down and have a seat. We're gonna do a little hamstring stretch. So let's put the foot out, pick one, and you're just gonna reach for your toes and we're gonna hold it there. Good job. If you're flexible and you can touch with both hands, by all means do that. I cannot. I, this is much better though than where I was a couple months ago. I have to admit. Good, switch it up. You may also feel this in your calf. That's fine, just means your calf's tight. We could do other stretches for that another time. Keep holding it. Butterfly, so your feet come together, the soles of your feet do. You're going to pull it towards midline and make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Okay, and we're just going to hold it here. Let your knees kind of fall down to the side. Good, good. These are stretches you guys. To continue to do. Um, we're only holding it for a couple seconds. Ideally, you should hold it for 30 to 60 seconds. 
Let's go ahead and stand up. We'll do a quad stretch. And we're almost done. So get a wall or something to hold on to if you need. Grab your foot, pull it towards your butt. You don't want your leg to come out like this. Pull it midline. And that way we make sure we're stretching the correct muscle. Okay, but keep it there. Almost done. Good. And then switch it up. Good. I know my balance is worse on my right, so I need to hold on to something. Good. About five more seconds. Keep it midline. Good, last one, I want you to interlock your fingers but behind you and then push down towards the floor. It will open up your chest and bring your head, your left ear to your left shoulder. Feel that stretch. Then bring your nose to your left shoulder and you'll feel it slightly more uh, in front of you to stretch, all while pulling your hands down. Good. Yeah, it does feel good. Look straight forward now. So I'm still pulling my arms down. Bringing my right ear to my right shoulder, holding it a little bit. And now bring your nose to your right shoulder. Yeah, this is, this is a good one. Good. All right, guys. So like I said, you know, we're opening back up on Monday. We have all physical therapy services we normally have. We have aquatic therapy, we have dry needling, cupping, active release technique, whatever you can think of, we have it. Uh, we're open to the public, not just members. So let us know if we can help you in any way. All right. Thank you. Good luck and stay safe, everyone.